the stuff. Let's read the bottle for this like everybody else does. I, it's so annoying to me, but I'm going to read the bottle. <laughs> Finally, a curl defining formula designed for us. Whether you're black, white, Asian, Latin, Mediterranean, or any glorious combination of the above, you'll love the way this alcohol-free, non-sticky, lightweight product leaves your hair inviting to the touch as it defines and locks moisture into every curl. So this is the leave-in conditioner. Um, I pretty much use the method. I don't use shingling with this stuff. I don't, you know, I don't feel the need to use the shingling method with this leave-in conditioner. But um, the method I use is the method that Kim uses on the Mixed Chicks website. So if you want to go to the website and just click on Kim's um, tutorial on how to put this in your hair for thick, coarse hair, that's what I do. I put it in four sections, and then I put like a a good handful in, in my hand and just rake it through one section at a time until I get throughout each section. I do four sections and then I do an overall, you know, put it in my hair overall at the end. So then you let that air dry. Um, you can sit under the dryer with it and then stretch out your curls with a blow dryer if you want to do that, if you like doing that kind of thing. Um, there's a lot of tutorials on how to do that. I could eventually do that too, um, the tutorial. But I just let it air dry, and it's still a tiny bit damp in the back. Still a tiny bit damp. There is shrinkage in, in my hair. I don't know if you saw the last video with Carol's daughter, but my hair is a little more shrunken than it was in that video. But there's lots and lots of curl definition. So I am happy. Oh, I didn't mention though, what's in this stuff, the leave-in conditioner. This is what's in it. Um, water, glycerin. Here we go again with these freaking chemical names. This has a cone in it. Um, Amodimethic. Amod, oh lord. Methicone. Amodimethicone. Amodimethicone. So yeah, it has a cone in it. It has the cones in it. Um... You know, if you want to do some research on cones, I did the research today, but now just completely drawn a blank. I think there are the, the chemicals where it, it sits in your hair and it um, builds up and it takes, um, it, it takes a harsh shampoo to get it out your hair, I believe. Don't, you know, I'm not a chemist, but... Do do your research on those. Um, has emulsifying wax in it. Hydro hydro hydrolyzed wheat protein, PVP, cross polymer. Connect some more chlorides in it. Octomethosinamidamurajiki. Do jojoba oil. Jojoba oil, I mean. Safflower oil. Primrose oil, wheat amino acid, um, crow silk, hydrolyzed collagen, um, you know, and it, it also has parabens in it. It has um, methyl, methyl paraben, propyl paraben, little butyl paraben, paraben, and it also has yellow dyes and fragrance in it. So this does have um, cones and parabens in it. So, you know, if you're not looking, if you're going, you know, looking to go the all natural route, this definitely has some chemicals in it. Um, does it do the job? Yes, absolutely does the job. If you're having trouble defining your curls, this defines the curls and then leaves them soft. They're not hard and crunchy like gel. Um, so, it definitely leaves your curls defined and soft. Now, the issue I'm having with it is it, you know, when it's all said and done and my hair dries, it dries dry because um, my hair needs a lot of moisture and um, oil to seal in that moisture. So that's the only downfall with this product line for me. That's why I'm looking for better. Um, but it definitely defines the curls. I'm happy with it. I just need a little more moisturizer for my type of hair. Um, you know, 
if you have maybe if you have looser curls it may not be as harsh on your hair it might not dry it out as much as much as it does my hair but this stuff is great all three together they work great together and it just made my job just so much easier you know starting out cuz this is this is new for me this curly thing so it just made everything so much easier I went to the beauty supply store and they were like oh have you tried mixed chicks yet try it out so I tried the um the leave-in conditioner first and I was just like wow it works I like it so then I got the deep conditioner I was like wow it works even better <laughs> I like this and then I got the shampoo and I was like eh, shampoo's okay it's like you know it cleans your hair but you know it is what it is. <clears throat> so will I be using the shampoo all that often? Probably not. Maybe if I do use it, maybe once a month I'll use it. If that. Um, I do have gentler shampoos I could use um, in replace of it. So I'm very happy with this product line. And um, yeah, so check it out. Give it a try for yourself. See what you think. Um, if you have tight... It's, it's all for curls. If you have curls, it'll work for you. If you don't have curls, you know, it might not work. So just keep that in mind. It defines whatever curl pattern you have. It defines it in a natural state. So thumbs up. I'm going to give it the whole line together. I'm going to give a four. Four. <laughs> Um, only because of it's lacking moisture. I need more moisture for my hair. So I've been mixing it with the Carol's Daughter products when I use it just to, you know, make up for the lack of moisture. Um, both great product lines. So that's it. I thought it was going to be short, but it's still not short because I just love to run my mouth. But anywho, um, next up is Blended Beauty products. I ordered the sample pack for corkscrew corkscrew curls so that's coming in the mail I ordered that today um, it was a cheap sample pack so that's why I ordered it was about $26 as opposed to a $50 sample pack you know that you can get in. some some sample packs can for whatever reason seem to be pricey I have no idea why but I'm gonna try that next because it was about $26 for the sample pack so that's up next hope you enjoyed the review I'm going to be doing some tutorials soon. I'm learning a lot of stuff about natural hair. And I'm just really excited about it. So, that's my review. Hope you enjoyed it. Till next time. Good night, guys.